What's up guys, sit down here and, well, let's cut the bullshit and get straight into this. Shotguns in PUBG are still bad. Everyone and their mother has been trying to tell me that they have been buffed, that they are good now, and that's just not true. Shotguns in PUBG are garbage. Always have been, always will be. Now putting aside the fact that PUBG is a game that basically forces players into long-range engagements, Shotguns in PUBG have never really been that dominant up close either. But Bluehole did buff shotguns about 6 months ago. If you have a look at the patch notes, which I will post in the description, you can see that apparently they increased the overall damage and effective range. That sounds pretty good. But then I looked at the provided damage chart. Hmm. I don't know about you, but does that look like a fucking buff to you? I mean, it looks like they just nerfed the base damage of the two best shotguns. So in light of the contradictory information, I thought I'd run some tests to determine the true nature of the change. It turns out that pellet damage is a lot more complicated than I originally thought. There are 20 separate hitboxes, each with a separate damage value. Which would explain why shotguns have always felt so inconsistent. After doing some extensive testing, I was able to determine that shotguns now do more damage to the limbs and less damage to the body. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look. I can't say this is a definite nerf or buff, but I'm going to say it's a nerf. Since the patch, I've had nothing but bad luck with shotguns. I feel like it's almost guaranteed to get a two-shot kill, and that's exactly the problem. The base damage nerf has made it almost impossible to one-shot anyone with level 2 armor, which is very common. And the limb damage buff is not significant enough to get one-shot kills to the legs. You can still get lucky with one-shots from time to time, but you have to admit, this is kind of shitty. At this point in PUBG's meta, shotguns have never been more relevant. For those of you who don't know, every weapon in the game has received limb penetration mechanics except shotguns. Meaning that if you shoot somebody in the wrist, it will go through and hit their body, doing more damage. Unless you're using a shotgun. With a shotgun, your shot can still get eaten by somebody's wrist. I don't understand why they did this, it's almost as if they want shotguns to be shitty and unreliable. Meanwhile, SMGs, which are the close-range competitor to shotguns, not only receive limb penetration mechanics, but also receive base damage and limb damage buffs. And they just melt people. Not only are they more reliable at getting quick kills up close, but they can also kill at surprising ranges. SMGs are also the faster moving weapons, with 97.5 of the base movement speed, while shotguns have the worst movement speed in the game, tied with LMGs and snipers. This makes SMGs infinitely better at rushing. Now the S12K and the Sawed Off have received the limb damage buff without the base damage nerf. But they are so bad in the first place that at best they are on par with the other shotguns. The S12K can take the duck build choke, which is a nice addition, probably not as good as the regular choke though. And the Sawed Off can take the regular choke, which basically just makes it spread the same as the other shotguns without chokes, instead of as terrible as it usually is. I have experimented with these weapons since the patch, and while the S12K is a lot more reliable at getting two-shot kills, I haven't found that it was particularly effective, especially compared to the new SMGs. So in conclusion, nothing has changed. Shotguns are still terrible in PUBG. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments if you found this video informative or if you think I'm full of shit. Either way, that's it for this video, and I'll see you all again next time. Just, just get in. Jesus, what the fuck is... What the fuck is going on?